Hey good people, welcome to the second episode of Vlogmas. Hope you enjoyed the first episode. If you haven't seen it, be sure to go back and watch it. I'll make sure there is a playlist where all of the videos will be available for your viewing pleasure. If you're new around these parts, my name is Tashira of Politics and Fashion. You can find me all over the internet, including here on YouTube, over on social media. Also, my private community that is all about style and self-care, where you get an inside view of exclusive content. Make sure you check it out. It will be linked down below. So today y'all it is cold. It is cold as polar bear balls. It is ice cold. It is frigid. It is giving tundra. Uh, and it is <laughs> probably the worst day I could have picked to force myself to get out of the house. I will be transparent with you all. This time of year I tend to hibernate and so I have days and sometimes a couple more days where I don't really leave. Like I'll be in the house, I'll be creating content, I'll be interacting with people in real life and on social media, but to go outside, to go out in those conditions, it's, it, it's a negative. And so I promised myself that this fall and winter, even on the coldest days, I was gonna find a way to kind of break that habit. Um, for no other reason than I don't want my life to stop just because it's cold outside. And I know for many people who live in other parts of the world that probably sounds ridiculous, but for me as a hardcore Floridian, Floridian, a lover of warm weather, psychologically, I just can't make the math. The math, like why is it that cold outside? And so it is below 30 degrees in the Northeast, um, which is frigid for this part, this time of year in this part of the country for my international uh, viewers. But we're gonna make it do what it do. We're gonna make the thing thing today, okay? Um, and so I got up, did a little bit of work, but I wanted to also show you quickly before I leave, probably like a 10 minute face max, probably more like five if I would have all of my products in my bathroom I wanted to put on a little bit of makeup but I wasn't trying to do a full beat so let me show you all what I use because I think it just evened the skin out kind of gave me a little bit of a glow which is good for a day of being out and about so I started with a brand new uh, uh, tinted sunscreen this one is by tower 28 it is a natural brand i grabbed it from credo or credo the natural beauty skincare makeup store i went to the one in boston with my friend margo it has spf 30 in it and the color that i'm using is 65 topanga so i think it's a really good match and i'm impressed given the fact that it's a natural product and it is suitable for darker skin so i started with that and by the way i put everything on with my fingers lies before i put that on i used the splash zone oil free hydrating primer also from credo it's by a brand called exa i have never seen this before but i think these two together are a great collaboration because this does tend to be a little dewy and i have oily skin and i have been looking for a natural primer for some time and i love this a lot i think this may have been a little bit more expensive than this one um but i will make sure i link both of them down below if you're looking for the product after that i did a very light concealer under my eyes and mostly focused on the creases where my eyes tend to be the darkest this is the nars radiant creamy concealer everybody knows this one og triple og and i use the color hazelnut it's a medium dark shade is what it says okay again apply that as well with my fingers after that i use the rms beauty blush in the shade elusive this is considered to be a lip to cheek blush which i love so you can use it on your lips or on your cheeks the color as you can see is like a mauvey deep pink i don't know how much is showing up on camera but there have been times when y'all have been like oh girl the blush is looking good today this is literally what i use i just go heavier on the application depending on the look that i'm trying to go for another all natural product Put on a little bit of mascara. I cannot tell you the name of this brand. It had a leather sleeve on top and I have taken that off. But put on a little bit of mascara. Put on my lashes. These are the Wispy Lashes by Ardell. And then for a lip, did a very natural nude as you can see. I may pop a gloss on top of this, but it is by Bobbi Brown and the shade is Dark Chocolate. And I think it's a perfect brown girl nude 
on the days again where I want like a no makeup makeup look for today's fragrance let's go with the Victor and Rolf flower balm which I think is really really nice you got it for a little bit behind my oh girl that was a lot that was a lot put that other places <laughs> um that has a lot of spice to it so I'm gonna do what I typically do I have this sample of La Labo's Bergamot 22 that I need to actually buy but as long as I have the sample I ain't gonna buy it um I have a few samples oh it's just so good I don't know that I would wear Bergamot by itself but mixed with other things, especially something that's very spicy, like the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm, that is so good. Okay, let me put on a little bit of hand cream. I'm using the La Roche Posay Balm Intensive Moisture Repair, Repair Cream. I talked to you all about this in my body care routine video. I am on their um PR list and so I love this lotion all over my body but especially my hands because they tend to get very very dry this time of year I will show you all my OOTD but I think for Sunny's I'm gonna throw on my Ray-Ban rounds I haven't worn these in a while just give them a little my mirror is here um a little you know casual everyday vibe uh, let me pack my bag it's gonna be the dior book tote i'm gonna throw my laptop in there so i can get some work done while i'm having lunch and i'll show you the ootd today's ootd starts with this oatmeal colored sweater from j crew it has a gold zipper and it zips all the way up the neck which i love i am wearing a pair of faux leather tights these are by Spanx. I got them in the Black Friday sale. I think they fit wonderfully. They're super soft on the skin. On the inside of them, it's like lined with a very soft microfiber, so they're also warm. I would have preferred to have an oversized sweater on up top, but I don't have one. That's one of the things that I'm looking for today. I am wearing my booties by Aid. These are suede, by the way. The Norma Kamali blanket coat, which is a staple for me especially this time of year i checked recently and she makes this coat in all black so i will link it if i can find it and then for gloves i'm going to wear this pair of black gloves super soft lambskin leather with the white detail that i got when i was in lisbon portugal and that is today's ootd oh wait a minute let me grab the book tote and my sunglasses this is the full look, y'all, and I cannot wait to go grab something to eat, maybe even a glass of wine, sit down, and get some work done for today. Let's get out of here.
two of the vlog feeling good feeling great yesterday was a lot uh we went down to mosaic district together we did a little bit of shopping got some food uh worked my ass off there and when i got back here it was nice to have a change of scenery as i mentioned to you i have to push myself to get out of the house especially on super cold days and it was nice to have a different environment in which to work but i'll be honest with you uh i have shared with you all a lot here about my struggles with anxiety i think that's really important to normalize the things that people go through that maybe other content creators don't feel comfortable talking about and last night was a very high anxiety moment for me because i just felt overwhelmed and i think what contributes to that is when I pack a little bit too much and too much of a particular type of work into one day or in a few hours at the very least and so want to get better about that want to spend this weekend definitely resting today is Friday uh, going out tonight and have a lot planned this weekend that I'm actually really looking forward to so it's gonna be all about relaxation relax relate release relax relate release if you know where that's from let me know down below <laughs> All right. Uh, so got up this morning, made some coffee, opened the advent calendars, got two bottles of red wine and the wine calendar and a really nice pendant because I told y'all that was coming, right? A really nice pendant in the awe um, advent box uh that is a jewelry box and so i'm excited to wear that y'all know i love wearing layered necklaces and so after i had my coffee made my bed kind of just did my typical morning routine i also decided to sit down and to apply some makeup a little bit of a heavier beat than i did yesterday if i am doing my makeup for camera this is typically how i do it or if i'm going out this is the face this is definitely the face sometimes i'll do a heavier foundation but for the most part it is everything that i use today and so i want to show you what it looks like but most importantly want to give you a behind the scenes and so i will stop here let's insert let's let's roll that beautiful bean footage okay and i'll do a voiceover so you all know my day-to-day -day face for me this has been like clutch as far as the products are concerned that are great for dark oily skin so here you go so I've already done my skincare for the day, of course, and now I'm just using as a primer, the EXA primer, which I've mentioned to you all before. It is an all natural product. I love it because it is a mattifying and it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. Next up is my foundation. I'm using the Bite Beauty Micellar Foundation. The key to this foundation is that it needs to really be shaken up because it can separate. And so I shake it and then I just dab it on my face. The color that I'm using is D175. I like to apply it using a foundation brush. This one is a stippling brush that I got from Sephora. After it is all blended in, I then go in to use my concealer under my eyes. This one is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Walnut. It's like a medium um, brown shade, not too light, so it won't leave a super white cast under my eyes, but it'll work to get rid of the darkness. I also apply it to the areas where I want the light to hit my skin, especially if I'm going to be on camera. So that includes on my chin, you gotta get that mustache, and also um, right in between my brows. Now I use a beauty blender to blend that all in. Sometimes I like to wet it, but because this foundation isn't super thick, I don't wanna wet it and then it just disperses the foundation. So I wanted to make sure that it's blended well, but it still does the job. I have also a beauty blender holder that I got from Sephora that I will link because this has been clutch, especially because I'm a brown skin girl and I don't wanna have makeup everywhere. After it's blended, I'm going to set it with the Fenty setting powder. I use the flat part of the beauty blender in order to put this under my eyes, on my chin, and on my forehead right between my brows. Next, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this product whether or not I am wearing shadow um, because my eyelids do tend to be oily and so in order to prevent creasing or for my makeup to kind of look a bit chalky on my eyes throughout the day, I always use this Urban Decay Primer. I've been using it for years. 
For shadow, I'm gonna start with this Luna Magic palette. I do not remember where this is from. Hopefully I can find it. If so, I will link it down below. It has some really nice flat shades. Um, when I don't wanna go for a sparkly lid all over, I tend to go for this one because I think just the base shades are really good. I don't know if flat is the right word. Obviously, I'm not a makeup YouTuber, so whatever the opposite of sparkle is, is what this does. <laughs> no surprise that I go light on my lids and dark in my creases. I have gone for this kind of clay color all over my lid and a violet in the crease. I blend that out. I haven't done a great job on the right side. Hopefully, by the end of the video, I will clean that up. Now I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona palette and add just a little bit of sparkle in the crease, uh, also right in my tear ducts. This is my absolute favorite palette. I think it's called the Sunset Palette and I love all of the different neutrals and pops of color. Uh, I tend to stick to kind of the golden bronzy shades. I don't tend to do a lot of eyeliner, but I really like the way that this NARS pencil feels. It's super smooth, and I put it on my bottom lash line. You'll notice that I let the setting powder sit for a while just to let it soak in. Some people call that baking. I don't know if that's actually what I do. Uh, however, I like the look if I let it sit for a while. So now I'm just brushing off that excess. We are going to add a bit of mascara before I apply my lashes. I find that this helps the lashes to blend. Also put on a bit of this Black Radiance blush. I don't remember the shade of this, but as you can see, it's like a deep berry. Super old highlight palette from Sephora. I apply it on the tops of my cheekbones and also on the tip of my nose. My lashes are by Ardell. These are the Wispies, and I have this really cool tool that I got from Sephora. I always blow the glue. The goal is for it to be a bit tacky so that it sticks without leaving glue all over your eyelid. Sometimes I'm more successful at this than others, which is why I like this Duo um, Lash Glue because it does dry translucent. Lashes are on and now I'm gonna go in with the OG Chestnut MAC Lip Liner. I'm gonna use this High Wild Flower um, Nude Lipstick. This is by a black owned brand. I'm gonna set it all with my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I use this product for so many things, y'all, including setting my makeup, but it's also a really good toner and refresher throughout the day. And that is my look. The lip is pretty muted. I actually could put some gloss on top of it. I'm gonna film a sit down video for y'all later. So I probably actually will put some gloss on just so you know my lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. So it can feel like a little extra, a little judge up on there. Quick OOTD for today. I am wearing the Natia and Lacko Lions head earrings. Y'all know I love these drop earrings. I am wearing the black cashmere sweater that you saw me try on yesterday at Bloomings. I did pull the trigger and grab it. Uh, the wrist is bust down per usual. We got the Cartier Just on Clue and the two free maiden cuffs. And then on the bottom, I'm actually wearing a pair of high-waisted tweed shorts that y'all would have seen in my early Urban Revival haul. Uh, I really like these a lot y'all and they are like curvy you know hourglass friendly which is surprising because there is no stretch but the waist fits perfectly. Don't know the size but I'll link them down below and let you know what size I'm wearing. It's cold so if I was wearing this outside I would definitely do a pair of tights and high boots either knee or thigh. I don't have any thigh boots but I have knee boots and so this actually may be what I wear out tonight. I am going to the Baltimore Orchestra for this really cool event where it like infuses like classical music with hip-hop music so we'll see what I'm gonna wear for that. We'll get dressed together um for whatever i end up putting on outside of that what else is happening today oh i know y'all let me share with you all the pieces that i got for black friday everything isn't here but there are some pieces that are quick black friday haul as i mentioned black friday cyber monday cyber week what's new <laughs> 
because as y'all know, I grabbed this sweater yesterday, as I just mentioned. I also grabbed the other one that you saw. First, let me just say, this is um, from Bloomies, which is like a boutique inside of, well, as far as the company is concerned, inside of Bloomingdale's. It's not physically inside of Bloomingdale's. We do have a Bloomingdale's in this area, and... I don't always find things that I love there. And so Bloomies for me feels like a better, more curated. I keep looking at my hands and the level of ash is disturbing. Um, Bloomies is much more curated. Contemporary brands like Stodd, Ganny. Um, you got some Sync Decept. Is that how you say it? You have a great beauty and skincare. They have everything from Maison, um, Francis Kirk to John fragrances to Byretto. If you're in the DMV area, just stop by. It literally is one of my favorite places to shop. There are not a lot of brick and mortar stores that are in the DC metro area that I feel like I really find things that speak to my style aesthetic anymore. I, I just think it's harder to shop when you do what I do in person because, you know, I kind of have an idea of different brands inventory or the aesthetics, etc. Y'all know I'm a stickler for certain types of fabrics. And so it kind of narrows the pot of where I'm willing to shop in person and DC ain't known for the fashions. So <laughs> Bloomies though is where I know I can go to hit the lick. And speaking of which, this 100% cashmere sweater was 50% off. And then they were having an additional 25% off of sale. And they had a bunch of cashmere that was 50% off. I love their aqua brand. I have two cashmere turtlenecks by them. And so this, oh, I'm sorry. This was not an additional 25% off because it was not eligible. But the brand is PL Cashmere. It was originally $228 and I paid $114 for it. I know for some people that's a lot of money for a sweater, but it's something that I literally will have for the rest of my life. I will make sure that I dry clean it, that I have my sweater shaver, my lint roller. I was looking for something like this that was oversized and comfortable. I had an old sweater from H&M. It wasn't comfortable. It was kind of rough on the skin. And with this, I'm literally just wearing it with my bra. And nothing underneath because that's just how comfortable and also how warm it is um so that was the first thing you saw me try on yesterday speaking of aqua i got this sweater which you saw me try on with the zip in the front i think this is gonna look so good because of it being oversized oh by the way both of these are in a size i think this may be a large and then this sweater is an extra large again i'm trying to go for things that are oversized i don't really want sweaters unless they're actually thinner knits to fit too close to my body it's just not the look that i'm going for this winter or fall and winter so this one was 44 49 so happy about that and then i got from Banana Republic, a Black Friday short puffer coat in this really pretty cream color. And I love the fact that the hood pops off. I'm gonna try these things on for you in cutaways. Um, this is one of the best things that I've bought in a while. And it really put Banana Republic back on the map for me. Uh, they always have such great deals. The quality is there. And this was originally $200 and I got it for $60 during the Black Friday sale. And it comes in, I think, three more colors. And I may have even gotten it in a tall. I know Banana Republic is really good for having regular lengths, uh, petites, and talls. So this is something that I needed desperately. And I cannot wait to style this casually or even to dress it up. I had the idea actually to put this on with a color blocked outfit and a pair of cream booties. So we'll see how that works. Now the next things I haven't even opened. Y'all know that the cargo slash utility trend is really big. I talked to you all about that um, in a previous video, which I will link down below about fall trends worth investing in, things that are gonna be longer lasting, not just kind of here today and gone tomorrow. And so I was looking at a pair of, I think, Philip Lim or a designer pair of cargo pants over on Saks. They were $300. 
I was waiting to pull the trigger for the Black Friday sale, missed the sale only for uh, them to then, instead of giving you 25% off, to do uh, like a gift card when you purchase over a certain amount, which I don't always love because I think all that does is incentivize you to buy more. So I was like, you know what? It wasn't for me. It wasn't meant to be. I wasn't paying $300 for a pair of cargo pants. So I was like, let me go to my trusty friends over at ASOS, which by the way, I feel like I can always find a great dupe of a designer piece. Their inventory, their search engine, top notch. So I got this pair. The waist looks a little big, but I got this pair of cargo pants in a tall length. I went up a size to an eight. Usually I would do a six, but just knowing that these were going to be in a cotton and not have any stretch, I didn't want any issues as far as like them kind of pulling throughout my hips and my butt. I cannot wait to wear these. Actually, they would be really cute with the sweater that I'm wearing today, but I'm really seeing these with a black, like skinny, thin knit turtleneck with, um, the jacket that I just showed you all, the puffer jacket, and then maybe this pair of boots that I also got from ASOS because I don't have a pair of comfortable but heeled black booties. I have my tall shoots boots, but I don't have another pair. And so I um, went back and forth about a pair of boots that I really, really liked over on and other stories. And I waited and then my size was sold out. And then it was a pair of shoots booties that I also really liked, but I thought to myself, do I need to get enough? Girl, stop with the talking. Okay, this is what I ended up with. Let's see how it works out. It has that almond shaped toe, and then it has the um, thicker but skinny heel. Okay, I got these in a size 11. They are not real leather, so I definitely had to size up. Um, I almost popped myself in the face there. <laughs> uh, so let's see how this outfit comes together or just how they fit in general. They were on sale for, I think, 50 or 60 bucks. And plus, um, ASOS was having a really good sale for Black Friday. I like them. I think for the price point, they're definitely worth keeping. I don't know if they're going to completely scratch the itch of what I'm looking for, but they could be good enough for now, and I love that I got a deal on them. I have some more pieces that are coming, so stay tuned for those being unboxed during Vlogmas. Also, I'm definitely, once everything arrives, going to do a video that is all about style and casual pieces. Let me try the things on that I have not tried on yet. Threw on the ASOS... <laughs> cargoes and this is a very interesting problem I, I don't remember the last time if ever this has been an issue for me they are too long y'all and i think it's because they're also slightly a little big in the waist i got some gapping back there but as i knew they would they fit within the hip so i will probably just get them taken in in the waist and then end up um getting them hemmed on the bottom because i love the look of them they're just extremely long. Let's try them on with the booty sole to see if wearing a <clears throat> wearing a heel helps. Hopefully you guys can see. Still way too long. Um, and I also want to be able to wear these casually. So having to wear a heel is not ideal. Plus you can't even see the shoe. Ooh, I'm not used to this. Shout out to all my petite people. This this what y'all be going through? This is a brand new feeling. Um, definitely need to get these him. But let's just roll them up to see, you know, what the vibe might be. That way you can see the boot a little bit more. I have a mirror here too, so I'm looking there. I don't know how I feel about these boots. I don't know about these boots, honestly. I feel like they're just a little... They're not as contemporary and style forward as I would want them to be. So I think I'm going to actually send these back. Seeing them styled, they're not my favorite. But again, loving the pants and then take a look at what it looks like with the pant rolled up. Let me try it on with a different pair of boots. Oh yeah. Do you see how much better that looks? With a different silhouette. It just makes the pant, oh yeah. 
that's what I needed. And I also wouldn't wear this sweater, y'all. Like I said, I would wear something that's a little bit more fitted because I don't want to be baggy up top and baggy on the bottom. You know what would eat with this? Keep this boot. This is the shoots boot. Um, the knee boot, by the way. Keep this boot. Do a black crop. And then do a black blazer. And maybe even a nice belt. Probably a nice belt. But yeah, seeing these two shoes side by side. This one got to go back. I couldn't help myself. I had to try the whole thing on. So I don't have on a black crop. My black crop top is actually in the wash, but I do have on this Pixie Market sweater that has all of the clavicle chest meat out, okay? And then that collar right around the neck, kind of like a turtleneck attachment. It's hard to describe, but I'll link it down below. It's one of my favorite pieces from the brand. Threw a blazer across my shoulders. And then what I did was I rolled up, obviously, both pant legs. And I feel like this is actually doing a little sum. And then what I did was I put on my Valentino V logo belt. Still feel like I want to get the pants hemmed, although I like them rolled up. I feel like... They wouldn't look as good if I was wearing a pair of flat shoes or like chunky sole boots. And so it would just look a little messy. It works with the heel because it gives it a little bit of an edge. But, girl, I done messed, I done messed around and came up with a whole, with a whole look on accident. No. We love her. Yeah, she's a vibe. And here's the Banana Republic puffer coat. I love the fact that it is cropped. And I probably will wear it just to be honest like this. You know, very cool girl, very model off-duty. Just give them a little, a little some, you know. Also, take off the hood, of course. Um, but on very cold days, I like the idea of having something that's not my floor-length normal Kamali coat. Now, here's the thing. I've already gotten makeup on it. <laughs> So we know that's the risk, which is another reason why I'm happy that this was super affordable because all across here, it is going to have makeup on it. There's just no two ways about that. And so I wouldn't want to break the bank for something like this, knowing that at some point it may be like irreparably stained. Threw on the Zara high-waisted faux leather pants with the cutouts at the pockets. Tucked down this Pixie Market shirt. And this is actually, y'all, a really cute look. I don't know for sure what shoes I would wear because I don't have any short booties. I probably would have to go back to the shoots high booties or high boots. But that's the reason why I need a pair of booties. But nevertheless, she's cute. I'll keep her. Up, F, I, E, E, girl. Do you see this? Shondo, yes. Can't tell me this is not high school principal realness. You know that's my sweet spot. Everybody has their thing, everybody has their style, everybody has their sweet spot, this is mine. I love a good old conservative, but edgy, but androgynous, but not also feminine look. I just do. And I feel like I paired the Hermes scarf. We're gonna go ahead and pop the collar on that aqua sweater. We're gonna do a half tuck with the Pixie Market black trousers. And you already know what's on the feet. What's on the feet? What's on the feet? Let me know. You knew it was a pair of loafers. These are the J. Crew penny loafers. Now let's do a sunny, because I think that would also make the outfit look a little bit more style forward. Because I think if I wasn't wearing the scarf and I wasn't wearing the jewelry, it would give like I was going to the office. Which is actually great right the way that things can go from work wear to weekend wear but i'm not so let's do a really cute sunny and i feel like a cute bag and it's gonna make it look more edgy un momento just like that these sunnies are by pomelato or pomelo i always forget the brand but they're from nordstrom rack grab the hermes picotine a lot of stuff in here hold on girl all the lip gloss 
keep this outfit in mind because I feel like I'm probably going to wear this this weekend, which you will see in episode three of Vlogmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're going to go Christmas shopping and picking out the tree. Hopefully my ankles can be out without too much stress. I'll throw on top maybe the new white puffer so that I'm not so covered down to my ankles. Let me see. Hold on. Girl, I just feel like I'm so bad. Girl, why do I look so good all the time? I love it. All right, my G, that completes the trial portion of this video. Uh, <laughs> let me actually take this off because I sincerely do think I'm going to wear this this weekend. Um, I actually have appointments at Chanel and at Dior, so you're going to want to stay tuned for episode three of Vlogmas. But in the meantime, in between time, um, I am going to create some content. And the next time you guys see me, I will actually be headed out to the orchestra for tonight. All right, it's time to head out to the show. Checking in really quickly here to start the OOTN outfit of the night, and then I'll show you the rest in the mirror. But the lighting is not going to be as great. Uh, same makeup, and actually, I just kind of freshened it up a bit. Um, I'm missing a ring. Let me go grab my ring. But same makeup, same jewelry, Linity and Laco earrings. And I'm actually wearing the dress that I had on in the express hall with my long blazer from H&M that is caped over my shoulder. I have my Bottega clutch and I'm also wearing my Zara boots. Let me show you. So this is how it all came together. I love how kind of, I don't want to say elegant because it's a very short dress, but the dress is definitely giving like cocktail hour and the boots are doing something a lot more edgy, which is my vibe. Then the pop of metallic is really dope to break up the black and provide a contrast. All right, let's get out of here.